and welcome back to Frostpunk. Last time we found those survivors there, but unfortunately now I know what the sound was, so the death sound. I lost my scouts in the battle it seems, so we need to recruit new scouts. Um, that'll cost us around 40 wood and some workers. Workers, I can get rid of some workers because that they just, you know, eat and the fewer people I need to feed the badger. So I'm going to wait for those. Oh, wait a second. Let's just get five workers right away. I don't want to waste any time here. And let's get them here and send them to the steel bridge. First, we need to send them to the sturdy shelter because they're faster when they travel on routes they already know. And then I can send them to the steel bridge and see what that is all about. Okay, but otherwise we're looking... It's a pretty good next day we are going to have a temperature climb and our generator stress level is lower now as well so we can put it on overdrive once more uh, in the following night that's going to be important here and we also have some more medical tents here and enough food for now even though the food I wouldn't be so sure about my food though to be honest I'm losing people why am I losing people Lack of treatment. I don't understand this. No one of them is gravely sick. So they shouldn't die, kind of. I thought it was like with the hunger and starving. You know, they're sick, then they're gravely sick, and then they die. But it seems like I was mistaken on that one. So they're actually just dying. Because I don't treat them. Let's have a look. We have two gathering posts to know where people are working. Yeah, let's put on the overdrive that should get us through the night. I'm just waiting for 8 o'clock now. Let's speed it up a bit because nothing else is happening right now. Overdrive activated. So our people should feel better now. We do also have the coal mine now. Let's start another research right away. Um, let's have a look. Actually, what I want is more scouts. It costs us a bit of wood, but that's fine. And we do have the coal mine now, so I'm going to build it. We have two reserves here, and I think that's it, right? Oh no, and one more over here. So pretty good, actually. Let's build one here. Costs us the last steam core that we have, but it's going to produce a lot of, of coal for us. Right there. Behind here. And is there a place now, or space enough for... No, it's not. A hunter's hut, I would have thought, but... That's okay, doesn't matter. We have that now, and right, the survivors have uh, arrived now. We are now at 160 people. More people here, and also more muffs to feed, of course. That's going to be the problem here. Right, we have four hunter huts that are working now. And I wonder, should I have another emergency shift here? For the scouts, no. Because I, I won't be able to, to research anything else. I lack the resources right now. So that's fine. We don't need to do that. However, I want to get um, my wall drill up and running there. And also my gathering post. There we have enough. The steelworks are being built now. So we can have then a larger amount of steel being produced. And we still have 10 homeless people. That should be solved once those tents there are finished this one's happening now very nice the last tent here so no homeless people anymore still some hungry but we still have enough food for that and the sick are going down as well I'm a bit worried there that we only have 16 hours left of coal that is def definitely a problem there so I hope I am going to use my... I'm going to be able to use my coal mine on the next day. Right, scouts has arrived and now onwards to the steel bridge. And see if there is something we can find. Okay, the stress level here is getting a bit high now. But we won't be using overdrive then for the next couple of days. Right, and a new law. Let's have a look. Let's choose overcrowding. So we definitely don't have any sick people outside anymore. And the only thing that we um, have to pay for that is a bit of discontent. But, and that's the huge but, now all my um, medical posts can 
have twice as many people there and very nice now we have only minus 30 again only minus 30 but that's enough for now okay there we have now the coal mine the coal mine is working now as well and i also want to get that steelworks there up and running now let's let's reduce the number of engineers here so we have more steel more people for the steelworks there that should do it all right so we have no sick people now that are waiting anymore so hopefully no one's going to die from that um we still have people or hungry people right but we are actually producing a lot of food now on this day we have lots of rare food that should be working and I'm still a bit worried about my coal. I really don't know what's going on here. Um, for some reasons, what I think is that we have too many heaters activated right now. So I'm going to reduce the number. I don't need that many heaters um, uh, for this one, perhaps. But I don't need that many heaters um, when we only have minus 30 degrees. It's not that, not that cold in general. That should uh, save some coal again. And this one here, the steam hub, only needs to work from... Hmm. From 8 to 18. No, that doesn't make any sense. Unfortunately, there's no nighttime setting here because during the day, no one's living here. You know, they're all on, on, on the work, at work. So I don't understand why I can't choose um, the, the, the nighttime there. Which is the most important time there, but anyway, doesn't matter. But this doesn't make any sense that we have... Yeah, okay, we have so many people in treatment, look at that. The coal mine is actually almost not working there. So what I will need to do... Something drastic, I think. I need to, to turn it off during day time. There is no other way for that. This is going to be brutal, of course. But I've got no other choice here right now. I would be out of bo uh, coal on the next day. So let's choose it like that. It's going down a bit now. More scouts are researched. Very nice. And let's go for the drafting machines. Costs us a lot of wood though. And a lot of steel. Can we afford that? We could. It's important though. Anything else that we could research for now? Mm, nope. Yeah, medical post upgrade. So the medical post would be 10% faster. That might be an option. The hothouse is pretty cool as well, especially when you got automatons later on. Automatons. But let's go for the drafting machines. It's expensive now, but we don't need the wood really. And we also found the bridge to winter home. And here we found a functional automaton. We stopped at the edge of a deep, wide ravine, marveling at the steel bridge spanning it, even more so at the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway. It would be possible to send the machine back to our city or disassemble it for resources. So we have the choice now. Should we dismantle it? We get 88 steel and two steam cores out of it. Or should we send it to the city? Um, we're going to send it to the city. Because the automaton is working 24 hours a day, you know, and it doesn't care about cold or something. So it's a really, really cool um, device. You can produce them later as well, but they're very, very good. So I'm going to put it then on the coal mine right away. So we can produce coal 24 hours a day. Very, very effective. We still have 27 sick people. That worries me a bit. Um... Let's also, hmm, yeah, we have steel there. I would really like to get a second um, scout team on the way now, since we can afford that. Yeah, let's get the five engineers here from the coal mine, offer them gathering post. And let's also put the steam generator on again and create a second scout team. Can we do that? I should have the five workers now. Oh, it's engineers. Sorry. Two workers here. 
now we have five. Let's create a second scout team going for the bridge right away. And from there we can then go to the weather station. So we have now two scouts. One is going this direction, the other one is this direction. So we have a huge bonus there because scouts are really, really worth it. And again, less or fewer mouths to feed. Also very important. Okay, it's night time again. It's looking good so far. The automaton is going to be here in one day and 13 hours. That's quite a way, but we'll get there hopefully. And I'm also going to reassign two more engineers to the medical posts so we so they are a bit more effective here. We have two gravely ill. That's not good. I think we're going to have another death or two in the next night. We have still one more day with minus 30 degrees only and then it's permanent, permanently going to drop to 40, minus 40. Hmm. Next night I'm probably going to have an emergency shift on the workshop though because we need to research faster. It's not fast enough. Right, we have reached a large convoy here, more survivors. The workers who were riding in this convoy told us they were heading for the city of Winterholm. We were supposed to follow the signal from the beacon, but we couldn't pick it up, they say. We tried to follow a search pattern to find it, but we ran out of fuel. So they're looking for the city of Winterholm. Um, we're going to send them. I mean, it's a lot of engineers and workers, so it's good people, you know. Hmm. Should I escort them? But I lose another day or two. Uh, doesn't matter. I need those people. Lots of workforce there. Let's send them. Let's send them to the city. Could I reassign my, my scout now? No, they're escorting. Okay. But we have a second scout team on its way now to the weather station. So we get some more people in. That's very important. We could have a fifth hunter's hut then. That might be useful. Still pretty close everything here. I don't know if we survived this. It doesn't look that good at the moment. I was pretty optimistic in the last episode, but right now, I don't know. Let's turn it off again, the generator. We have too many sick right now that that number needs to go down. It does at the moment. Hopefully it stays that way, there. And yeah, food is also very scarce, scarce still at the moment, so whatever food we cook is being used right away. That's not good. And this scout is now going for the weather station and this frozen wasteland. And as we can see now, we have the scout here, weather station, that scout here escorting and the automaton here coming to our city on its own. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know what to do right now, what to optimize. We've pretty much set everything now. We definitely need more wood, so I'm going to leave this one here. This one's working pretty well, so at 90%. You know, for example, there are a lot of sick people here. So this this one's down. We have two treatments here. This one's uh, two treatments here. This is only at 60%, 40% because there are so many sick people here. Hmm. But only 13 are now being treated, so it's going down faster. I hope my cold changes then for good once we have the automaton working there. Okay, we have now un unlocked the next level. So what we could do now is we could improve the heaters. So another level of heat would be available then for the buildings. But right now, you know, we had minus 30, minus 40s coming, but that's it for a while. So this is not necessary at the moment. We're definitely going to do that at some point. But heating is not the main problem right now. 
Um, let's have a look. Coal mining optimization could be something. I'm more inclined to go for the hunting tactics. Like this one here, hunter huts will employ fewer people. That means we can have an additional hunter's hut, you know, working there. This one's pretty cool as well. It um, has twice as many food um, for the people working there. So the flying hunters, also a very good one, but very expensive. I'm a bit uncertain right now. Light scout, lighter scout sleds. Scouts will move 50% faster. Let's go for just for now. It's cheap and it doesn't take too long. And it speeds up my scouts dramatically. So let's do that. And just hope that it works. Okay, we still have 12 in treatment, but that's good. They're heating us off now for good. Yeah, long hours of toil. Sir, our people are worn out. Some of them have been working on extended shifts for days on end. Their efforts taking its toll and they're becoming restless. They deserve a break. Um, nope, I can't do that right now. Discontent will rise. But we need these working times for survival. Okay, so we do research now. Good. We only have 10 sick people now. So we can close one medical post here. This one here. We can turn it off. We don't need it anymore. And we can reassign those engineers to the workshops. So that's faster. And let's have a look. Another law can be signed now. And now it's getting a bit more interesting. We've more or less signed now all the mandatory things that are important. Triage. No, I'm not doing that. So a, four, a fourth of my patients will die instantly while the other ones are being healed. So we're just killing off the, the, the sick ones. That's not something I want to do. Um, the soup would be another thing. So we could have the soup and food so we would have more food but i don't think we have that much of a food problem so let's go for something else let's go for the fighting arena make our people a bit happier that might be something and i'm also going to build another hunter's hut and we can turn on the heater again the generator producing some heat again for us and from now on, I think it will stay on um, till the end. Because uh, at minus 40, I, I will not turn it off anymore. Otherwise, my people will all get sick within minutes. And that is something I really can't afford. Let's put an over an emergency shift here on one of the workshops. This one's researching now through the night. And another hunter's hut is going to be ready right when my new people arrive. So they can go for food, for hunting right away. Let's also get another hunter hut. So this one's uh, finished now. Very nice. Let's see. And we have more people now again. Let's assign 15 right away to the hunter's hut. And we also need to build a few more tents. And yeah, we will need another steam hub soon. Here somewhere. No way around that. Let's get the other engineers here to the medical post. Let's assign a few more workers to the steelworks there. And a few more workers here to the gathering post. There we could use a few more workers. Very good. But now we have a green area here again, you know, so that's that's good. We are producing enough coal again. Lighter scout sleds have been um, researched, so my scouts are now significantly faster. And now we can go for... Hmm, heating or food? Let's go for food for now. Let's get the hunting tactics. I think so. We need fewer people for the uh, hunters. And we can get another hunter's hut or something like that.
yeah let's do that for now and after that we go for the heating so we have a few scouts now here available one is over here we can explore the grim forecast we found scientists notes they predict that the great cold is going to get much worse what's more troubling is that your observations ended abruptly months ago there's also not a can of spam not even a crumb of bread left in the pantry it's obvious they've moved out for good we can see the city of Winterhome from the roof of the weather station. Some coal and steam core. And there's Winterhome. Let's go for that. And my other scouts go to the weather station and from there then to the coal mine. Abandoned station. The recent report from the weather station has got people talking. They're frightened that such an important facility was apparently abandoned. Some are starting to wonder whether the evacua evacuation from London was a good idea. If you are lamenting openly, I knew we shouldn't have come. At least London had real houses, not tents and wooden shacks. Hope uh, falls. Yeah, people are desperate. They see that um, this probably wasn't a good idea since the cold is getting much worse. Let's see another hunter's hut is ready soon. And here we can assign. Yeah, let's let's reassign here five workers and actually let's use only engineers there and put another 13 workers into this hunter hut. So we got quite a few of them working now. And hopefully providing us with enough food for the day. And this night we got quite a few new sick again. So we are at 15 sick now. That's because I probably didn't have enough tents from for the people. And another good thing is coming up is that the automaton is reaching now our city. And it's getting colder now too. Minus 40 again. This means it's chilly everywhere. I think even with the heaters on now. Right. So we definitely need to, to boost that uh, research. Okay, the heaters are on everywhere where they should be on. We are producing some food again, but not enough. And there are the... Automaton is arriving our city. Very nice. We can now get rid of the workers here and have the automaton working there day and night. And thus our coal production has increased quite a bit. And we've reached winter home. The streets of the ruined city are littered with scores of dead bodies. The city chronicle describes the shortage of food and citizens increasing despair following squabbles, riots and descent into anarchy, fights for dwindling resources and the eventual starvation. The last entry, God forgive us, we are eating our dead. There is no hope. And that's the fate of winter home. And we are going to continue in the next episode.